What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about TSM. I want to go over some of the current data points as well as talk on the bull slash bear case for this upcoming week. So I'm going to go over all that. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So at the time of doing this video, TSM sitting at around 146 and change on Friday, pulled down 1.9%, even after hours, another 1.5%. Beside the point, though, semis have been doing phenomenal this year. So even TSM is up 61.15%. But this upcoming week could change the dynamic of all of that because CPI. So CPI is coming out on Tuesday. Year over year forecast is 3.7. Month over month is 0.3. Feds are assuming it's going to come in a little bit lower. So if that is the case, then you're going to see a very nice continuation of the broader market rally, especially in semis. But aside from that, though, if it comes in harder than anticipated, meaning a little bit higher, that does mean that there's going to be a even greater pullback. Because if you think about it, NVIDIA pulled down, I think, 5.5% on Friday, just based on just profit taking and its technicals, which as a result, that's kind of what dragged TSM down slightly as well. But of course, TSM didn't really go down to the same level as NVIDIA because just looking at, for instance, the PE ratio for uh, TSM is 24.2 versus the forecast being 20.5. And NVIDIA is dramatically uh, much greater than that, although they have a lot more future revenue growth expectations and a lot more integration and uh, a lot more deals, essentially. But 73.4 versus the forecast of 35.6. So rightfully so, NVIDIA is a little bit more volatile um, in comparison to TSM. But beside the point though, TSM does have a lot of cash and kind of similar debt levels uh, as to NVIDIA and kind of the other semis as well. So nothing really to be concerned about in my opinion. The growth has been slowing in TSM slightly. So that is something to kind of be concerned about. And that's also why you're not getting that much optimism coming from analysts. So right now, some of the analyst ratings uh, right now for TSM, you can kind of see last one was done five days ago by Stacy with Bernstein. Stacy does have a 68% success rating, but did give a $125 price target. As a consensus among all the ratings, it is estimated to be around $138.83. And oddly enough, that is a 5.15% downside from here. So going into this upcoming week, the technicals are looking and pointing to a continuation of a rally. More specifically, even looking at the Elliott Wave technicals, as you can kind of see right here, it does show a pivot point being $136.80. So for as long as TSM is above that, which right now it is, this is where it is anticipated for a high of roughly about $174.90 at least in the short term. So very optimistic. Again, dependent on CPI. If CPI is negative, then you can anticipate a further breakdown at least to around 127 to 122 dollar range and i completely do agree with that even aside from that doing my own technicals looking at support and resistance points because the last time it kind of was flirting with and it kind of bounced off of the 122 dollar range so of course we do know that's a very strong support and so i don't think there's enough justification for it to trend lower than that but at the same time realistically for this upcoming week these are some things to kind of watch for, both extremes. Um, obviously, I don't really anticipate 174 this exact week, but if CPI is very positive, then I could see roughly around the $165 range to $170 right here based on the low end. As far as the low in reality, again, a lot of these Elliott Wave technicals is good for about two to three weeks out. So I do feel around $130 might be the low end. So overall, based on the technicals and the other factors as well, that is where I kind of see the bull and bear case. So I'll go over some additional data points as well. On a side note, if you are looking for a lot of good compiled information, such is everything I just mentioned, Elliott Wave technicals, analyst ratings, even analyst forecasts for upcoming earnings. Take a look at Interactive Brokers. It is completely free to have all this information, so highly suggest in taking advantage of that. But moving on, looking at options. So $491 million in calls being purchased versus $50 million in puts. But sentiment-wise, 72% of all the options being done today, or I guess, sorry, on Friday, were optimistic and bullish. So people are anticipating and clearly hedging 
considering the fact that there's going to be higher highs coming. So that's kind of a good thing overall of the call options that are being purchased. You do see a consensus going into next week, roughly around probably the 157 to 160 dollar range. So kind of similar to what I mentioned as far as the high and looking at the puts, there's quite a lot of strike prices, but versus looking at some of the puts though, you can kind of see my apologies. So looking at puts, you can kind of see that it is anticipated for the low end to be sub maybe about $148. So my low might be kind of extreme if that makes sense. But if there is a sell off as a result of CPI, you'll see the dynamic change 100% when it comes to all of this. So let me know your thoughts on all of that in the comments below. But quickly moving on just to show you some additional data points. So looking here, these are all the transactions that have occurred on the secondary market above $100,000. So for all of this activity to occur on a Friday after hours, it does show that big money is still very much looking at the semi market and even TSM. And so even comparing TSM to NVIDIA, a lot of value investors of sorts I know you kind of have to take that with a grain of salt, the fact that it's gone up so much and called as a value play, but even within its own sector, it could be interpreted as a value semi, if that kind of makes sense, or if I'm just making stuff up. But a lot of big money beside the point is getting into TSM. And just to quickly look right here, so with that $146 and change, it is trading between this R2 and this R3. So if you are looking for more specific finite support and resistance points, just take a note of a lot of of these so that's something to kind of keep in mind very wide gap so anticipate a lot of volatility so all in all that's a good summary of some of the current data points and just my bull and bear case for this upcoming week what's your thoughts on tsm do you currently own it or what have you been doing with it and where do you see things going for this upcoming week do you think that 160 dollars is realistic by the end of this week vice versa like 130 is the low like what's your kind of thoughts on all that don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that one final thing i just wanted to share with you take advantage of this promo simply sign up for an account with me with your 100 at it and you get five free stocks each stock is valued up to two thousand dollars so make sure you take advantage of this it is only up until march the 31st with all that though appreciate all of you watching